happen. Uh, in fact, I could understand we couldn't start our program on time. That is the reason you guys are not responding to me. Once again, Anivar Kumanaka. Good morning to all of you. Kindly apologize once again uh, because we couldn't start our program on time. Anyway, I hope you all had your breakfast. Did you have a breakfast? No need to worry. We will arrange your lunch. Certainly we will arrange your lunch. So please stay back till the end of this program. Thank you. Actually, as head of this institution and personally, this 70th year, year of Independence Day is too special to me because first time in my life I am standing in front of one of the great leaders in Tamil Nadu. Nanda Kumar sir, we fondly call him Anna. Generally, he is not accepting any private school invitation. He accepted invitation because of our love towards his speech, towards his attitude. In fact, you are the primary witness, what is he doing on stage in front of everyone else? Towards his aptitude, towards his gratitude, towards his leadership skills. From the bottom of my heart, I tell you, thank you very much, Anna, for accepting our invitation. Even I'm getting quite nervous. In fact, I have been speaking in front of a huge audience from my childhood. First time I'm getting nervous, I don't know what I am supposed to speak in front of one of the great speakers in India. So, first of all, let me uh, congratulate to the newly elected student body council leaders because most of the time the student body council leaders are receiving messages from others and everyone about leadership. What are they saying to them? A leadership is about not a position. It is about the ability to help others to do their best and to be the best. In fact, I too agree with this. However, I would like to tell you a short story what happened to me during my school days. When I was doing grade 11, I wanted to become a basketball player. Some of my friends joined together and decided to take practice in Kumbohana. In first batch, there are 40 students. I do remember that. But they would select only 20 students. So we went to the first session. The balls were around the basketball court. We were running up and down and doing exercise. We left without touching even a single basketball. So my friends spoke to each other and uh, it would clear tomorrow because the coach would allow us to take and play basketball to see who was talented, who was not gifted, who was going to stay back in the team. The next day we went. The first one and a half hour, we did the same exercise what we did on the first day. So my friends started to speak each other. They came to me and told me, Mapla, something is wrong here. How does he know which 20 uh, 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 students to be selected. So you go on to talk to your coach because they knew that the coach was is my dad's friend. Then I told them, no, 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 no. I don't want to go and I don't want to talk to him. If you want to play, you just to go on to talk to him. Then they told me, as you can see, he was a strong man. We were quite afraid to talk to him. Then finally, somehow I summoned my courage and brave. I went to him during the break and introduced myself, who am I? Then I requested him, hi uncle, can I ask you something? He replied me, yes my dear son, how can he help me? Then I told him, uncle for the last two days we are coming here and we are not touching even a single basketball. Uh, may we know the reason? 
then he smiled at me then he posted some more questions to me he just answer my questions before answering you then i said okay how many players in a basketball team then i answered five what about the opposition team then i replied again another five what about total come on uncle of course 10 out of 10 how many players are going to hold the basketball at a time on the court then i told him one yes he explained me something i couldn't understand at the time but i do understand now i do understand now we came out to find out the role of other nine players in a team actually it is not about it is not about the great one player who will carry forward the game it is about making ensure we strengthen the weakness of the link so we have to go all together that's what african proverb says beautifully if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go fast go alone and if you want to go far go together so what i am trying to tell my newly elected student body council leaders is just to find out your weakness areas and strengthen yourself then you all will get it success you can clap for me no because after long gap i narrated the beautiful story what happened to me fine uh, and uh, many parents and students wanted to know the reason why did he choose colors as a theme for the independence day the 76th independence day i didn't answer them whenever i met them last morning and last afternoon but this is the right time i think so colors make things beautiful colors add life to life the right color can be the festival a treat for our eyes colors have also been defined meanings and representing the various aspects of our world our nature our personalities and some other virtues in life we celebrate 76th independence year from the subjugation let's me intimate on the beautiful tricolors of a national flag sacrifice detachment renunciation is what about saffron how can we forget to salute our martyrs who have shed their blood and gave their lives so that we could we could live in free nation today saffron also represents the courage and strength in context of today today it is very crucial that as we globally connect we also stand up by we all, we have we we have to dare by stand up from our culture the indian values and of course the legacy what we represent the green color stands up growth growth abundance and the prosperity from agriculture to science and technology from sports to uh business industry india and indians have much much contributed for the growth of our nation and of course that of the world finally we have the ashok chakra in the center the ashok chakra blue in wheel indicates indicates the truth dharma truthness truth and it tells us how we live in movement and death in stagnation in fact we are running out of time because i wanted to speak much anyway i wish you all happy independence day thank you very much once again my personal thanks to our anna thank you